welcome to Lab Pack News. And I'm Sarah Schultz. And we have a wonderful uh, episode for you tonight, but uh, I heard there's some gossip around here, uh, Sarah. Yeah, there is gossip. I just wanted to take this time to tell everyone that um, I went on a really good date last night. Oh yeah, where'd you go? Yeah, uh, we went to a nice restaurant in the East Village, and I think things, this could be the one. Really? Alec. Did yeah. he? Uh, did he? Did he pay for anything? Of course he paid. <laughs> yeah, because we know this job doesn't pay. All right. Want to get to the news? Yeah, let's get to the news. Thanks. Okay. Beyond Meat, the company known for plant-based burgers, announced that their former COO Doug Ramsey is leaving the company after he allegedly bit a man's nose. In his defense, Ramsey said he'd eaten a Beyond Meat burger for lunch that day, and he was just still hungry. This month. The United States will witness the last total lunar eclipse of the year. And uh, this is known as the beaver moon. So gather the whole family together. A full beaver will be on display. And Uranus will be huge in November because it will be the closest to Earth all year. Oddly enough, Uranus will be huge in November is the same thing my doctor told me if I eat too much turkey. And we have our local news and guy who likes to bet on sports and maybe our studio, Chuck Mano! Warm it up, Chuck. Warm it up, Chuck. All right. You neighborhood gambler, maybe, maybe I'm dead. Maybe I'm alive. Maybe I bet the studio last week. That's why we weren't here. It's none of your business, all right? Let's get to some sports. First of all, Congratulations to the uh, Astoids or the Astros. They won the World Series. We don't give a shit, okay? Cheater. We don't care about you guys. All right? F you, no lube, all right? All right. Uh, the reason why I lost the studio last week is, let's be for real, the Packers, f you, Alec. Uh, they got the f kicked. Um, and because of that, they took the studio. They actually packed up Yoni and... Uh, Put him in a box, you know. I don't know where he is. <laughs> it's like he's, you know, they're gonna look for him because he's, he's. Anyway, uh, you know, the Lakers lost again. F you guys, how the f did the Cavs beat you by 14 points? You guys were up by the, f they were up well into the third quarter and they lost. Do you know how much dumpster diving I'm doing tonight because of you, mother? Okay, I have to hide now because I could possibly get. You know what I'm saying? I could possibly get a but you know what? There's some good news out there. Wonder why? Because the Jets won. And we, I just knew they were going to lose. You should have saw me. I was like singing. You know what I mean? Like I was like a little It's like watching Bambi all over again. All right? But the Jets won. And because of that, I got my mom's teeth back. You know what I mean? Like I am the man now. You know what I mean? Sports is my life, buddy. It's my life. It's what I breathe. It's what I shit. Tom Brady. That's sports. Hi, I'm Abbott Abbotson, and is your day too long? Does it drag on and on? Are you a sad individual? I have the course for you called Waking Up at Noon. It makes your day go by so much quicker, and it makes you do less things, arguably making you a better person, like it has me. If you don't believe me, I've had many people taking my course. Please take their word for it. Something I love about going to sleep and waking up at noon is that I can always eat breakfast foods and it's socially acceptable. It's the most convenient meal of the month. Now, it's already 12.01. I'm gonna go enjoy my cinnamon raisin bagel. Good night. Uh, I wake up at noon and I don't have to take work calls, I don't have to email clients or solve any kind of crisis in the Middle East because it already happened and I was sleeping. I took no responsibility for anything I've ever done while the hours I was sleeping. I wake up at noon because I'm a top G, I'm a man, I'm a provider, and I'm a protector most of all. Thank you, have a nice day and a nice night. That's my alarm clock telling me to go back to sleep. Good night. Now that you've heard the testimonials on how my product works, go follow us on Waking Up At Noon on Instagram. 
that you do that within the next 60 seconds, you can get my course on how to go to bed at 4 a.m. for half off. So go try it now. Waking up at noon and make yourself a better person. Waking up at noon is not a cult and cannot be blamed for anything. Herschel Walker is in a tight race at the Georgia Senate. Nothing can stop Herschel Walker now, not even many unplanned pregnancies. A new study shows that one in five U.S. adults die because of alcoholism. Yes. And if you see one in five and your first thought is, hey, those are the same happy hours as my local bar, you are that one in five and will probably die of alcoholism. At that bar, probably. Yeah, we like to keep it light here on the show. <laughs> Uh, in Florida, at Progress Village Middle School in Tampa, kids were being taught that the Holocaust basically did not happen and that Auschwitz was like a country club with soccer and a cinema. When children asked what movies were played at the cinema, teachers said Disney films, cartoons, and if it was Christmas time, Schindler's List. Well, Taylor Swift has broken another record. She has claimed all top 10 spots of the Billboard Hot 100. Her fans are thrilled. They're going to stay in bed all weekend and cry. Speaking of crying, a new study shows that magic mushrooms helps cure depression. Maybe Taylor Swift needs some of that. Uh, the study... So you tell me that magic mushrooms, something that makes people's faces melt off, makes you see cool colors, and makes you see your mom as a child, that helps with depression? I would have never guessed it. Uh, Adele recently stated in an interview how to properly pronounce her name, which you can see right here. Name perfectly. Yeah. She came and asked me how I say my Adele. name, and I was like, Adele. How was she was like, Adele. Wow, that sounds a lot like a Dale, a Dale, a Dale, a Dale Earnhardt Jr. Hell yeah! That makes sense. Is why she'll be singing the national anthem at this year's Daytona 500, February 14, 2023. NASCAR, let's hear it. Okay, in Portland, Mayor Ted Wheeler has announced that pickleball courts will be replacing areas previously used for homeless camping. So the underserved and poverty stricken will no longer have a place to sleep but they will get their cardio in and you never know they might meet someone again more florida news a fast food restaurant in miami was shut down after they received 32 food violations including a live rodent walking across a grill yeah when that happens in new york we just call it filet mignon a few weeks ago, we told you that New York City had a rat prevention program. And good news, New York City is no longer the most rodent-filled city in the United States. Now with more on that accomplishment, Don, everybody, Don! Great to be here, Alec. How you doing? I'm Name's Don, last name Reductive. I'm here with my partner, Stam! Stam! His name is the Stamina, because he keeps going! Stamina! Thank you! Hi, how's it going guys? You guys are in good, good, uh, good uh, mood right now. I'm ready! Probably because of the accomplishment. This is a wonderful accomplishment. And I must ask, what was your inspiration for getting all these rats out of here? Inspiration? We needed to get them the fuck out! Listen, I show them the rear exit like their name's Bactoria! Bactoria! Listen, I don't tolerate a rat. I can't deal with it. I conduct business. I'm a businessman. I'm with Stan the Animal Man, y'all! Stan! Don't mess with me! Wow, that's, uh, that's a good good answer. Um, what what did you guys do to make the rats go away? Yeah. Meow. I couldn't imagine of a better answer. That was amazing. Uh, I got one more for you guys, if you, if you don't mind. Um, do you guys think New York City will ever be rat free? Let me tell you something, Alec. It's easy to get rid of a rat. You gotta talk to him. First, you come in with this. I got a brand new Rolex, 1973, limited edition. Here you go. It fits your wrist perfectly. Look how nice you look. Now shut up. And if that doesn't work, guess what? I have other means. I know Geo Dude, brother. I'm a Pokemon master, and don't mess. Get the f out of here!
We have a local news world correspondent, Avi Kaki. Avi Kaki, can you hear me? Hello, what's up? I'm Avi Kaki. I'm in Bushwick, Brooklyn, the neighborhood where everybody's a demon from the devil's asshole. And I want to see which drugs they're taking. Let's watch. Ronald, which drugs are you on right now? Oh, I smoke weed. Hey, you ever lick ayahuasca? Nah, I would, I would do something like that, but I'm on the clock right now, so I can't. Can I give you a frog to lick? You take it home and lick it later? Sure. What drugs are you on right now? Like you want me to punch you in your head? So why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I smoke weed now. You want to know the real truth? I smoke weed. What happened? No, 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 papi. Which uh, drugs do you do are you on right now? Crack cocaine. It's amazing. Do you have a, a ball I can rip with you right now? I have a clip right here. Cut the camera, cut the camera, cut the camera. Okay, Bushwick was f***ed up. Everyone is on drugs. I hate this place. I can't wait to go back to my own country. F*** this place. Yes, thank you. Wow, thank you, Abi Kaki, for that wonderful news about drug addicts. That really brings everything together. We appreciate that. It's nice. Yes. It's okay. Great. That was the Lat Pack News. I'm Alec Adams. And I'm Sarah Schultz. And stay, stay safe, safe, New, New York. York. And remember... If you're on the phone in public, be on speakerphone. Right, and always leave a voicemail. Yes, because that's listening.